watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. Now that both Taylor and Austin have black bucks on the ground, we got one afternoon left of the Texas deer season. And Austin, being the trophy white-tailed deer hunter he is, he says, hey, I want to go out. Let's just see if we can see old Wobblehead. So I'm really happy with this black buck, but Austin actually just surprised me, and tonight I'm going out for my first white-tailed buck hunt, and I'm really excited. So we just got out here to the stand. It's really cold, and we're out here looking for a white-tailed buck. I've got my Daniel here and my husband, and I'm super excited. All right, here he comes. shoot with those does in the way. He's behind a tree right now. I can't take the shot. There he goes. So I actually got on him and thought I had a shot and these does, two or three of them cover him. And I was super nervous. My heart was pounding and I didn't take the shot and he took off. Dang. All we can do is just sit here and wait. And turns out Taylor did the right thing. She didn't have a clear shot, so she passed and allowed the other animals to get past Wobblehead. So after he took off, we waited, we sat. I would have put money on that he wasn't coming back. And then we look up to the left, and there he is, coming back. Here he comes. You got him. Good job, babe. Thank you. You got him. Thank you. It's your first one. Know, Good I'm job. Excited. So happy you came back because I almost gave up. Now let's go find him. Let's go. Let's go get him. All right, so tell me what happened. Well, he was there for a little while and he was covered up in does. And after he ran off, he really didn't think he was going to come back. And then what happened? He came back. <laughs> okay. He came off over here to the left. She took a shot. Right in front shoulder, he dropped a little bit. Took off about 45 over there. Okay. I know he's down just right over there. Mm -hmm. He's a monster. Is he? He's a monster. Does he have a big drop time, maybe? Does he? <laughs> Two. Does he? He's got a drop time? <laughs> he's got a big one. Well, let's go over there and see if we can get him. Come on. So we look back at the video, and uh, she made a good shot. But keep in mind, she's shooting just a 223 rifle. She came out here for Black Buck, and all of a sudden, this giant walks out. And so I made the decision, let's do not push him. We'll let him lay up overnight, still plenty cool, and we'll go after him in the morning. All right, so uh, was it a long night for you? Mm-hmm. I bet. <laughs> trying to figure out, okay, trying to, I'm sure what happens when uh, people wind up shooting an animal, the first thing is they want to do everything they can to recover it. And I think that's a good deal. But what we did last night, we spent about five minutes looking and we decided, you know what, we're going to hold off. It's cold, really cold, and we're going to go see if we can recover the animal now. The one thing that nobody wants to do is push an animal. It reduces the chance of recovery, so we're going to go out and see what we got now. Let's do it. Let's go. Holy smokes. I think that's what you call beginner's luck, yeah. huh? I'd say so. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of him. Is he bigger than what you thought? Oh yeah. How many points does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 21 points. <laughs> I was look like, hang on. <laughs> and look at this little drop tine I know, here. I didn't see it before. Huge drop tine on the other side. Wow. 
I like those bladed brow tines as well. Yes, very yeah, much. Beautiful. I mean, look how massive he is. The whole thing. And I mean, you smoked him with this little rifle. <laughs> and very, very pleased for you. And I'm be honest with you, I'm, I'm speechless. I mean, I've got I've got mixed feelings. And the reason why I say that is because these deer are they're they're one in a million. Deer just don't grow like this. Yeah. You know, it takes everything right for a deer to get like this. And so how cool is this for us to be able to do an experience mm -hmm. something it's like this? It's pretty awesome. And what's wonderful for me is being able to share what we've done here with people like y'all. Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. And, uh, and just to think, this was probably the last buck taken during 2018 <laughs> Very like last person. <laughs> <laughs> and what a deer to take. Thank you. Fantastic. And now look back at the entire season. I think this last deer season was phenomenal. The hunters that came out here were phenomenal. I mean, you got Jim, you know, Jim starts out. I mean, he comes out and I mean, he was, Jim was like a kid in a candy store. Then I look at all the other deer, you know, I think we had a, 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 I mean, Teresa came out here and she took her first deer ever. Literally, she was speechless. I mean, she was just speechless. And so I'm proud. I'm proud that we're able to make these memories with people, help them be able to make lifelong memories so they can love the joy of the hunt and pass this on. And then we've got all the other hunters that were out here. We've got the boys that showed up, and I mean, they shot some massive deer. And these are the kind of deer that, I mean, yeah, they, they make an impression upon people because they're pretty. They're clean, typical deer, and I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that, uh, you know, we have the freedom to be able to, to live in a country where we can we can manage land like this and grow big white-tailed deer and share this with people that have the passion because it's all about the joy of the hunt. And if y'all want more information about hunting trophy white-tailed deer, big, pretty, typical frame white-tailed deer right here in the state of Texas, you can get a hold of me, call the ranch number that's on the screen or you can go to our ranch website and get a hold of me and I give you a word, leave me a message, I will call you back. And, we don't do that many hunts, but uh, for the hunters that do come out here, every one of them leaves with the joy of the hunt in their heart, and that's the way it ought to be. My name is Keith Warren, and I'd like to thank you for watching The High Road.